Hey everyone, welcome back to the Kubernetes tutorial. Today we are diving into the Kubernetes architecture and to make things fun and easy, we will use the pizza shop analogy. We will talk about pods, nodes, deployment, services and how all the pieces work together in a real life. So let's get started. Here is a quick look at what we will go through in this session. What is Kubernetes cluster, control plane versus worker node, pods, deployment services, how everything fits together and finally Kubernetes versus Docker. What is Kubernetes cluster? A Kubernetes cluster is just a group of machines working together to run applications in a container. In our pizza shop analogy, think of it like a chain of a pizza store. Each store is a node. Making pizza means your application and there is one central head office, means a control plane, that manages everything across all the store. Next is control plane. The control plane is the brain of the cluster. It makes all the decisions, assigns the task and keeps everything running smoothly. Just like a pizza chain head office, it does not cook the pizza itself, but it tells every shop what to do, monitors the sales and handles the order. Let's break down each part of control plane using our pizza example. Cube API server. It's like a call center. All requests go through this. Whether a customer orders a pizza or a staff reports the update, everything passed through here. And the next is ETCD. This is a company notebook. It stores all the important data like receipts, staff roster and orders. Next is Cube scheduler. It decides which pizza shop should handle a new order, basically the dispatcher. Next is control manager. This guy checks the restaurants to make sure everything is running as expected. If something fails, it fix it. And the next is cloud control manager. This is optional, only used if you are delivering through third party services like Uber Eats. If you are working with a cloud provider like a AWS, Azure or GCP, this comes into a play. Before we move on, here is a quick overview of which Kubernetes components are mandatory and which one are optional. I won't explain each one again. We have already covered them, but feel free to pause and take a look at this chart for quick reference. Next is the worker node. Now let's talk about the worker node. This is where your application actually run. In our analogy, it's a pizza shop branch. It receives orders from the head office and cooks the pizza using its own kitchen staff in support. Next is a worker node components. Each pizza shop means a node has a three main tools, kubelet, kubeproxy and container runtime. Kubelet, the shop manager. It checks if all the chefs means our containers are working and report back to a headquarter. Kubeproxy, the internal phone system. It makes sure calls get to the right chef station, means here calls will be the network traffic and the chef station is a pod. And the next is container runtime. This is the kitchen itself, the stove or oven that actually cooks the pizza. In Kubernetes, it can be a docker or container D. Next is pod. A pod is the smallest piece of work in a Kubernetes. It's like a chef station. It might be a single chef making pizza or small team working on the same dish. They share the same workspace and tools. Next is deployment. A deployment is like your staffing plan. Headquarters says every pizza shop must always have three chefs working. If one calls is sick, the system will automatically hire the another to replace them. Deployments help to scale your app and make sure the right number of pods are always running. Next is service. Services expose your pods so customer can reach them. Kind of like the front counter at the restaurant. Whether customer walk in or call, the service forward them to a available chef station. If one pod is busy or goes down, traffic is automatically routed to another. How it all fits together. Here is how everything works in sync. Like a pizza empire running smoothly. The control plane means a head office. 
handles the decision. Each node means a pizza shop runs the pod that is a chef station. Deployments ensure enough chefs are on duty. Services gives the customer one number to call. Optional stuff like cloud control manager only matters if you are on the cloud. All these pieces work together to deliver hot, fresh pizza or in our case scalable app. Kubernetes versus Docker. So what's the deal between Kubernetes and the Docker? Docker is like the oven. It cooks the pizza means runs the application. Kubernetes is like a restaurant manager. It decides how many ovens, how many chefs and who should work where. Yes, Docker or a container it is still run the app. Kubernetes just makes them work together when you have many. And that's the big picture of Kubernetes architecture. We saw how everything from control plane to pods fits into a real world pizza shop model. I hope this analogy helped make it easier to understand. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.